I have to show you something. Hold on, hold on. I think I know what you want to show us. Is it pay-per-view, the kind of thing you're going to show us, or...? No. Okay, good. Are you ready? Almost, almost. Hold on. Uh... Okay, go. What do you want to show us? Yes, ready. What do you want to show us? I'm going to mess up everything you just did. Okay. I'm not alone. It's a kitty, and the entire channel proceeds to lose their fuck. Oh my god, it's a kitty! It's a kitty cat on the toad! <laughs> you know, we're a ridiculous species because all it takes is to put a kitty cat on the internet and we lose our fucking minds. She's asleep on, she's like, co-opted my little hippo pillow pet. Yes. It's, her, it's hers now. She She's decided she's claimed the hippo. It's hers now. It's she hers. She sleeps on it. Mm. She, like, needs her little paws on it. So, it belongs to her now. This is my bitch now. If I ever, if I ever move, I'm going to have to leave it here. It belongs to her. That's the... I was hoping she'd like to get up and want to come over. Come here. It's like, fuck you. You want to play? No. No. She's like, I'm comfy. I'm on my hippo. I don't know what your problem is. I'm sleeping. Just like a cat. Kitty on a hippo. So how are you this week? Pretty good, pretty good. My uh, the, the rest of the household was in Ireland until yesterday, so it's up and fucked off to Ireland. They found a Groupon deal, so they went to Ireland for a few days, and uh, so the kitty was stuck to me like glue because she was like, "Where are all my humans? I have no humans." That and then they like... came back, and she had to do the kitty thing and be like, "I miss you. Who are you again?" <laughs> Do I know you? Just like a cat. Yeah. They gotta be dicks just a little bit, you know? Let yeah. you know who's in charge. Like prison. And Tom is like broken hearted because Bridget doesn't like him at all. She wants no part of him. <laughs> he was over this weekend and just like, she would just sit and like, like she was hiding under the chair in the living room, just glaring at him. How dare you? Yeah, she was like, you're in my fucking spot. I just, I want to look. How dare you? No, he was so upset. that I put a video on YouTube of him, like, desperately trying to pet her and her just slinking away from him. Because of course you did. Because of course that's exactly what you did. You put a video on YouTube. He, like, he had the little red laser pointer and she would play with the laser pointer. But then, like, as soon as it came time to, like, interact with him, she was like, nope. I'm not oh. here. Oh, my boyfriend is sad. I'm going to put this on the Internet. He was so sad. <laughs> so you put it on the Internet. <sighs> yeah. He knew what he was getting into. She yeah. punched me in the eye the other night at, like, four in the morning. <laughs> She, she, when, if I sleep on my side, she like perches up here on my shoulder. And I woke up and made the mistake of looking up at her and kabap! Right in the eye. Back to sleep, human! It's not time to wake up yet! I tell you when it is time to wake up! You go back to sleep, I will knock your ass out. She did. So, yeah, we've got an interesting week. When do we not have an, let's not be honest, when do we not have an interesting week? But this week, we've got an awful lot of fire. Fire is fun. Like, a lot of it. A, an inordinate amount of fire this week. What was that? Just, you know, people moving around the house. Oh. Shall we begin? Let's begin. All right. 
Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air, Audience Squaw, on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And what what are you what are you I'm crazy for <laughs> feeling so lonely. What are you doing to me? Hi, Internet. I have no idea what's going on. I'm a cat. Hi, you can kiss. She gives little nose kisses. Not right now, though. It's like, no, get away. She's like, no. Yeah. She's a bit of a diva. It's just a bit. Aren't you? We don't even need to do the news at this point. We just sit here with, with the cat for the rest of the just time. Watch the kitty. Just watch the kitty. Hi, kitty. I would probably like triple my audience, honestly. You know, there's probably a niche market for that. Like there's the porn live webcam and then there's just the girl petting a cat. Yeah, probably. Thirty nine ninety five an hour, bitches. More of this hot action. You know, I have drank a lot in my life. Especially during uh, in a single in a single go. But um, even I have my limits. And there's probably a good reason why, because this guy. This guy did not. And the results, well, they speak for themselves. It's from Florida. Of course, it's from Florida. How could this not be from Florida? Daytona man ordered $80 worth of shots. Set fire to a trash can. $80 worth of shots. That's unless they're shots of like. I don't know what's really expensive booze. <laughs> like 200 year old scotch whiskey, single yeah. malt. It's like eight, two shots. That's fine. But this, no, that I doubt I mean, that if you're was... ordering the right shots. That could be like two shots. But I feel like maybe that's not the case. Here. It's from South Daytona. Uh, Volusia County man was arrested after South Daytona police said he set fire to a trash can in a bar bathroom and got into a fight with several people as he tried to leave. According to investigators, Buchanan, 33, downed $80 worth of shots and set fire to the trash can. When he tried to leave, multiple people tried to stop him. Police said he punched them all in the face, including one man over 70 years old. Fire didn't do any serious damage. It's uh, not okay. Just punch grandpa. You can't punch grandpa. Hey, here, Sonny, maybe you shouldn't be setting shit on. Oh, there goes my nose. I don't have a nose anymore. I was kidding. I wasn't using it. $80 worth of fucking shots. Now, was this like, it was this like, was this like $1 shot night? Was he trying to do all the shots in the Element Fayo song? There's an LMF. Of course, there's an LMFAO song about shots. You don't shots. know that song? I don't know that song. Shots, 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 shots. And then, like, on the video, they just run recipes for different shots on the screen. And there's a reason I don't know that song, because it sounds Special awful. It's work of genius. It's, it, it just... Okay. This was some sort of plan, but I don't think it went quite the way he was expecting it to. What are we imagining the plan was? I don't know. All I know is you don't go into a place and order $80 worth of shots and drink them all unless you have some kind of a plan. Well, the question is, did he order them all at the same time? Or, like, did he just rack up a tab of $80? Uh, One you can kind of see happening, and the other is crazy. Uh, you know, if he just was sitting there doing shots for three hours, then you could rack up that tab pretty easy. It, it, well, it depends, you know, if this was happy hour, then his liver was probably on fire and then start setting things on fire and look at look at his mugshot. He's just like, and yeah, that happened. Are we done now? I will note that uh, it looks kind of like Bridget just looked when I forced her on camera. 
Oh, apparently. Oh, here's the best part. Uh, uh, defraud innkeeper under thirty dollars. That's a law in Florida. He's he's accused of, which means he didn't pay for his eighty dollars worth of shots. <sighs> Cherry on top. Probably didn't tip either. Those arsonists are fucking lousy tippers. Everybody knows that. Speak. They have money burning a hole in their pocket, but they oh. can't a decent tip. Oh, that was bad. Speaking of arsonists, but wait, it gets worse. And I believe this is North Dakota, Fargo. For, yeah, Fargo, North Dakota. You know, we don't we don't set up these segues ahead of time. We don't. I, I just have a weird latent ability to do it. Hmm? Pretty bad superpower. There are worse. I am Segway. There, there, there's, there's now an X man who shoots gold balls out of his body. Shit, you not. This is an actual, real, current X man. You know what his name out is? What, out of what part of his body? Just they appear. He just <laughs> gold balls, and they go poink when he. You know what his code name is? Gold balls. Not kidding. <laughs> Why does this exist? Because Marvel has gone nuts. So and anyway, I can't get a fucking Firestar. Can't get Firestar in a movie. I know. So speak and speaking of going nuts, um, I have done a lot of silly things to impress women in my life. That is that is that is the, the measure of a man. Do we do an episode on that? But I think this guy, this guy has, this, this guy has gone above and beyond. Uh, Grandin man accused of setting farmhouse on fire to impress woman. Oh. Frederick Bohan, did I send you the link? I sent you the link, did I? You did. Frederick Bohannon Jr. of Grandin is charged with arson and several other felonies after a uh, sheriff's department investigation to a string of car battery thefts led them to witnesses who say Bohannon burned down a rural farmhouse to impress a woman. You know, where have all the good men gone? <laughs> Ladies, I know you're with me when I say I miss the days of chivalry when a man would burn a fucking barn for you. <laughs> I mean, that used to be standard first date fare. Where do you think the phrase barn burner comes from? I don't, I don't think that's where that phrase comes from. That's not from. where it comes from. Cass County deputies responded to a call about a stolen tractor battery from Farm Erie owned by Robert Kaiser. Similar incidents had been reported in the area over the past few days. Kaiser told deputies he saw Bohangan loading batteries into a truck at his home with his father. The elder Bohangan told deputies... His son told him the batteries were given to him. This is makes it even better. Fred Bohangan Sr. said he was planning to sell the batteries to recoup some of the money he recently spent bailing his son out of jail. OK, so. He's stealing car batteries. To bail the son out of jail. Who burned down a, a farmhouse. Heiss told deputies he was he was with Bohanian and two women at a farmhouse in the area when one of the women began asking Bohanian to burn down a house. They went to another farmhouse northwest of Erie and Bohanian set a sheet on fire. When the home was ablaze. The group drove a mile away to watch it burn. This was requested of him? This was requested. Honey, if you love me, you'll commit a felony. Baby, you know, it would get me so hot right now if you would just, like, burn down the building. Technically, that probably would, actually. Girl ever says that to you, you should run. Yes! I don't care how big her tits are. <laughs> yes, that's... You, you should run. That's, right? that's at the point you're going, you know, Snooki is a real down-to-earth girl, don't you think? That's 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 the point where you, you got to call that perspective. You call that a come to Jesus moment. Yeah. How did. Uh, just how. A 
And you know, you just know he went, okay. He didn't think <laughs> twice about it. He didn't go, no, that's a bad idea. We probably should do this. Yeah. Okay, sure. Why not? Because he was left with the impression that if he did this, she might touch his penis. Yeah. And we all know that that makes men's wiring go a little squiffy. Most of human civilization has been established by a one man's desire to have some woman touch his peepee. That has been the driving force for the basis of our species and all of our achievements and foibles thereof. Yeah, kind of. It's all about, about please touch my peepee. -pee! That's, that's what it comes down to. I, I also I do love the fact that his dad was was thoughtful enough to to steal a bunch of car batteries to sell them to bail him out. That's that's love. That's family. Yo. That's family. Yeah. But wait, we're not done. More fire? More fire! Uh, and we're back. I think we're back in Florida. We're back in Florida. This is Jacksonville. Um, oh, my God. How much fucking fire? More fire. More fucking fire. Uh, woman accused. Up in a little kitty ball. And now here's Tara with the cat update. Sorry, she's just really cute. Woman accused of lighting boyfriend's car on fire after he refused to buy her a McFlurry. Well, he had that coming. Jacksonville, Florida woman is accused of setting her boyfriend's car on fire because he refused to buy her a McFlurry at McDonald's. Eyewitnesses say the man and woman were fighting late Sunday night outside the McDonald's. Witnesses said she grabbed her boyfriend's keys, went to his car, poured alcohol and gasoline on it, lit it on fire. And here's the here's the kicker. Ran off. They're going to know it was you. <laughs> this, you're not getting away with this one. It's not the perfect cry. <laughs> They're going to find you. <laughs> so, and you, yeah, a writer in the chat said he had it coming. You know, that's what was going on in her head. Well, Yeah. He deserved I it. Want, I don't even want to tell you what happens to Tom if he denies me a fucking McFlurry. Oh, how much does a McFlurry cost? Like a buck twenty nine. Buck twenty nine. Yeah. You know, I think I'm starting to side with her on this. I mean, is the loss of the car worth that buck twenty nine? I'm that's, not, that's that's not a happy meal. You know, I, the guy will not spend he wasn't loving it. You know, if you're in a relationship and the other person is not willing to drop a buck, two bucks to 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 get you ice cream. Really? And up, enough to the point to start a fight about it. It's time to reevaluate that relationship. Now, I understand hard economic times, people having issues. Sure. But it's a, it's a McFlurry. It's a fucking McFlurry. That being said, the appropriate response, as I said, is to reevaluate one's relationship. Have a long talk. Consider maybe it's time to move on. Well, it sounds like she did. Just normally you don't involve fire. You know, sometimes you just got to be direct. Sometimes <laughs> guys don't take a hint. Like... I think we should see other people or I don't think this is working out. Like, I just don't always take a hint. So sometimes you just got to set a motherfucker's car on fire. You know, I, the, actually, I think what you should take away from this is why he's probably sitting there going, why do I have alcohol and gasoline in my car? Sometimes you got to be like, you ain't going to get me a McFlurry. Fine, I'll get myself a flame broiled Whopper. Boom. Tara. What? That was funny. Why did you do that? Because it was funny. <sighs> Just it. I. <sighs> anyway, but we're not <laughs> done with we're not done with McDonald's yet. Are we done with fire? We're done with fire, but we're not done with McDonald's. You seen Lethal Weapon 2? No. 
I haven't seen any of those movies. Planet are you from? Um, I can't tell you. The government would come and collect me. I mean, you're the same age as me. You you lived through these. In, uh, there. I was raised by Irish farm people. They have TVs. They're not the Amish. You didn't go to school in a buggy. You don't know that. I do know that. You went to school in Long Island. Yeah, they're buggies. <laughs> I almost got run away by a run over by a runaway horse and buggy once. And that's a true story. We went to the Beth Page Folk Park and a horse and cart got out of control. Leave the weapon to Joe Pesci says an immortal line, and it is a truth and it is a reality. They fuck you at the drive thru. You even know this. You didn't see the movie and you know this shit. That says everything. they fuck you at the drive thru. That is the truth. That is a reality because uh, Emily and I had that issue the other day. We we're going to the drive thru. We got food. We're like five minutes away driving down the road. She opens it up. No, it's the wrong shit. And you normally, there are ways to deal with that. You go back in, you ask for the manager, explain what happened. Normally, they'll fix you right the hell up. This, on the other hand, does not get you the desired outcome. McDonald's patron pointed gun at drive through worker over missing French fries or dipping sauce. Or... Oklahoma cops are searching for a McDonald's patron who pointed a gun at a teenage drive through worker after discovering his order was missing an item. Cashier told police that a vehicle came through the drive through late Tuesday night and the driver picked up an order. But after discovering the McDonald's bag was short an item, the male pastor became upset. And at that point, the suspect, who was in the vehicle's back seat, pointed a gun at the employee and said, don't make me use this and don't let it happen again. Cops received conflicting reports over what item was reportedly missing from the order. Cashier said the customer complained about dipping sauce was not included, while another witness said the, involved, the dispute involved French fries, an important distinction. Why, why is that an important enough detail to put in the story? Because you pay for the fries. They charge See? you for a sauce now. They charge you like 10 cents per for those fucking sauces. What country are we living in? You want more than three ketchups? Ten cents. Ah. Uh, don't make me use this. There are a lot of instances. And, and if they have to start paying their workers a living wage, those sauces might go up to 55. There, there are a lot of instances in, in life where the, the phrase don't make me use this comes has been you know, it, it, it's it's relevant. It has been used in that way before, and it's important. But over French fries, don't make me shoot you because you did not give me French fries. So often we seem to get people that forget a nice little thing called proportionate response. I think the problem is, at least in America... We're starting to think of the gun as the remote control. You know, you point the gun at things and expect it to do what you want. God, that's like kind of true. That's horrible. I know. We, we, we it's like, you know. Stop. Fast forward. Pause. Dance. We need a French fry gun. We need a French fry gun. But just. All it would take, all it would take is to pull over momentarily, step out of the vehicle, go inside and say, excuse me, miss. My order is missing an item. And normally the manager says, oh, I'm terribly sorry. Let me see your receipt. Here you are. Have a nice day. I can even just hang out at the window. Yes. Like, just don't pull away from the window. They will eventually open that little window and be like, what's up? 
why have you not moved along? And you'll be like, well, you right. didn't give me my sweet and sour sauce. Oh, gosh, sorry. Here's your sweet and sour sauce. Thanks a lot. And, and how much would that cost you? Nothing. It would cost you time, seconds of your time. You know what? This is going to when they get this guy, this is when they get when they catch this guy. It's it's going to cost him some time. Yeah. <clears throat> a couple of years. It's going to take time. It's going to take money. A whole lot of precious money because he didn't do it right. Name that tune, bitches. I got my mind set on you. God damn it. Good luck. Oh, that for time this week. Ugh. Just remember that damn fucking at that video with everything talking. It was yes. it's like Evil Dead 2, only it was a music video. <sighs> so and then they had like that dancer stand in that you were supposed to believe was him. And it was not. Oh, George Harrison. So, um, basketball and, and most high school sports, they take that shit very fucking seriously. Varsity Blues, that shit was a documentary. OK, they, they, they don't they don't fuck around when it comes to, to, to sports. And in this instance, a team won. And you would think good things would come from a team winning, right? Generally, well, no, that's not what happened at all. That's not what happened at all. This comes to us from Michigan. Um, <clears throat> I oh my god, shockingly racist tweets follow high school win by all white team. Now, the first thing I thought when I read this was that were the was the white team being harassed for some reason. But no, 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 no. In fact, apparently everyone was very supportive of their team. A little too damn supportive in the wrong way. Shocking tweet celebrating a Whites team's victory erupted Thursday following the Howell boys basketball win over Grand Blanc, which I've got to find that that is very ironic. Considering yeah. if, it, if you don't understand why that's ironic, Google that will help you. Um, several students in Howell are now facing disciplinary action, according to the high school principal. Among the tweets, Twitter messages posted after the game the night of March 13th. Not only did we beat Grand Blanc, but we're all white. Howell's the definite winner tonight. That one's mild. All hail white power. Hashtag Hitler is my dad. Yeah. Your dad only had one ball. I, I, uh, why? Yeah, why? Why would you, why? Also, it's pointed out in the story that Grand Blanc also has both black and white players, which kind of makes this a little bit worse. As as if this could be good, I, I should say. It's not like this is like cousin fuck Arkansas. We're talking no. About. This is Michigan. This is the this Midwest. Is the state bordering fucking Canada. Yep. Apparently, that doesn't rub off. Be nice if it did, but it doesn't rub off. I'm really confused. Well, you know, I think the people on the channel have, have summed it up. You know what the issue is? Teenagers. Yeah. And everybody goes, oh, teenagers are awful. But no, really, teenagers, teenagers are awful. Teenagers are awful. I have a lot of retail, dude. And uh, I'm here to tell you, teenagers are awful. Teenagers are awful. I was one. I wasn't great. I wasn't bad, but I wasn't great. I was a teenager. I was a little shit. Yeah, the, the teenagers are mostly... Okay, even if you're a well-behaved teenager who doesn't do horrible things, like, you're obnoxious yep. and awkward. Yep. And you think it's cool and important that nobody cares about. And you're an idiot. And Yeah. And you want to fuck everything all the time. 
Teenagers are the worst. Teenagers are horrific. So I, I, I just, it's, it's one of those things where. Now I've, now I have that, uh, my chemical romance song going through my head. <laughs> it's a musical night. Why? And what? Never say all hail white power. Just never say that. I don't care who you are. Don't say that. Mm -mm. Don't. Why do you have to be told this? Good use for that sentence. And what's even better is this is a school. You do understand Hitler was the bad guy, right? They taught you that, right? He was the... He was the bad guy! He was kind of a bag of dicks. Fuck, you saw Captain America, right? If I'm nothing so, else... Coming out soon, I'm so excited. If nothing else, if you, even if you didn't actually pay attention to the goddamn teacher, you saw the fucking movie, Hitler was the bad... You saw Inglorious Bastards, right? To be fair, Hitler wasn't in Captain America. Well, there was a stand-in. Yeah. Hitler was kind of an off-screen, hapless victim of Red Skull. Yeah. You understand Hitler was the bad guy. Okay, yeah, okay. I think it's pretty universally accepted that he was the bad guy. The, and the, not someone you'd want to emulate. They are pointing out in the, chower, the, in the channel that white power, yelling white power is bad, yelling white power ranger, that's okay. You, 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 that's okay. That there's a difference. Sure. Yeah, I know Power Rangers were a little past our time, but it's a big thing with with the younger crowd. So just with, nod and with smile. The, with the ki with the kids today, it's very popular. I hear he likes them the Power Rangers. <laughs> so our last one this week. Oh my God, we got video. So, Even the Joker hates Hitler? Is that true? Yeah, I think so. Everybody hates Hitler. All right. So, sometimes you feel like a nut. And sometimes you jump up on an SUV and strip naked while taunting police officers. Sometimes you do. Um, and I've got, let me get the video queued up here because, oh, wow. I still need the link. I just send you, I did, oh, yeah, I have to hit enter. Enter helps. I can enter. So here we go. Here's our friend here. He's on this woman's car. Oh, it's not his car? No, it's not his car. He's on a stranger's car. You're gonna get naked. Get naked on your own car, dude. Nobody needs you to fuck friends on your roof. <laughs> Delaware man was arrested on a suspicion of drug use. No shit. Suspicion. And now she's she's hitting, trying to hit him with an ice scraper to get him off the car. <laughs> like he's like a raccoon or something. Why is there an ad playing? It's loud. Make it stop. But uh, let's see. Um, police believe he was high on PCP, also known as, quote, wet, when he scaled the occupied truck. Video shows the man beating the, troops, rucks, tr the vehicle's roof and screaming. The driver tries to speed away, but is unable because her car is blocked. Um, when police arrived, and yeah, it cuts out there because it gets a little more racy. When police arrived, uh, we get the video back up. Thing back on the screen. Can you imagine? You gotta think you're in like a fucking zombie movie. Because <laughs> that always happens. In the Aim movie. for the head! Barricaded in a car with a bunch of the undead like banging at the doors. The man eventually began stripping off his clothes, standing nude on top of the car. In the video, the man can be seen taunting police with hand ginger and gestures, and here's the cherry on top, and his tongue. Like. One would hope. Because otherwise, otherwise it's 
It's pretty funny if you could do that in the helicopter deck at the same time. <laughs> How is this a good drug? I say this so many fucking times. What drug do they think he was on? PCP. That's not one of the good. That's the worst one. That's the that's the drug that uh, vampires always blame when some like yeah. super strong vampire. He must have been on PCP. Like, breaks a car in half. Oh, he must have been on PCP. Yeah, he wasn't a vampire. He was on PCP. Yeah. Exactly. The very fact that PCP used to be meth before meth. No, PCP used to be bath salts before bath salts. Yeah. PCP is old school bath salts. Yeah, like, who does PCP anymore? Get with a fucking program. Join what? us here in the 21st century. One of those... Some deadlier, more horrible shit. <laughs> But it's still one of those where you hear about what people do on PCP, and the first thing I think is, no, not, holy shit, I need to get me some of that. I That is my Saturday. No! What are you doing this weekend, Bob? Well, I'm going to do some PCP, get naked, jump on a car, you know, the usual. Point my dick at some cops to see where the evening takes me. That's just one of, I mean, and you, you feel so sorry for that poor lady. She's like trying to beat him off the car with something. With an ice scraper. It's a fucking ice scraper. I mean, I guess if you just take off, he's going to fall off, right? But then you're probably charged with something. Yeah, you'd be sued for that shit. Hey, man, I was high on PCP and jumping up and down in your car and you drove away. And I fell down and I got hurt. That was totally your fault, and I bear no responsibility whatsoever. Oh, America. Okay, bonus said her, her, beat him off. <laughs> Bridget, not the cat, Bridget, told me not to say that. Don't say beat him off. Tried to beat him off with an ice scraper. That had to chafe. Bridget, who's in the channel, is Dodger. She's our yeah, the other mod. Every time I like tweet about the cat, she gets all messed up because the cat has the same name as her. <laughs> She's like, I keep thinking you're talking about me. No, oh, no, I'm sorry. It's just the kitty. It's all of it. I don't. This does not sound like a fun drug. I understand the whole concept of fun drugs. I understand, you know, you got your pot, you got your beer, you got. I understand the whole bit about the. F this does not sound like a fun drug. It kind of seems like he was having a one man rave raid up there. One one man rave. Yeah, rave. Did I say rave? He said raid. What was he like? I don't have any glow sticks. If he could do glow sticks and a helicopter dick at the same time, that would be <laughs> really cool. What is it with you and the helicopter dick? Jesus. I don't know. It's not a good hang up, honey. This, don't don't let's let's keep that one to ourselves. I say as I record this for the entire Internet. Let's keep that to ourselves. Too late for that. Yeah. Oh, of all just. I, I guess the first thing we learned this week is where have all the good drugs gone? Yeah. You know. The, you know, you always say the old drugs still work. They still do. They have it. This this is an old drug. Yeah, but it's also an old drug that was just like, why would you do it? And you know what? The, the drugs that don't do the things that make you awful tend to be the cheaper ones. Which is, you know, PCP. You know, just do fucking NyQuil like all the house. <laughs> <laughs> uh cough syrup and shit yeah benadryl robo tripping get Make some yourself a nice little xanax nyquil cocktail 
<laughs> you like Homer Simpson? Child's cough syrup. I made it good. What was it Britney Spears used to drink? It was like purple Kool-Aid with cough syrup and vodka. Classy. She called it purple drank. I'm not lying. I'm not making that up. That's true. I don't know why I know that. You know what? She has and will always have more money than we'll ever see in our entire lifetime. Yep. Purple drank. That's the sad part is she could afford the good shit. She could afford an $80 shot. She just didn't. Uh, we learned this week that there is good losing and there's good winning. And then there's bad winning and then there's hideously racist winning. Yeah, that's like a whole other level. I know. I just realized you're like seeing half my face this entire time. I'm sorry. Oh, oh fuck, I can't do anything with it. But it just, it... Never, never, never say white power. Just never say white power. Just don't do it. Don't do it. The thing is, if you're a white basketball team that just beat a non-white basketball team, just, it was probably luck. No. I'm not saying anything, I'm just saying. No. Yave. Not a ton of white basketball superstars. We've learned that a gun is not a remote control for life. No. Not. And there's really such easier ways to handle your lack of fucking sweet and sour sauce. Seriously. It is just not that serious. You know what I do when I get when I get nuggets someplace and I, I find out they forgot to put the sauce in when I get home? You know what I do? I just go get ketchup from the fucking fridge and just say, oh, well. Like, they never give me enough ketchup at the drive through I'm a ketchup fiend. Like, I, I, I want ketchup soup with french fries in it. Sometimes, sometimes if, the, if there's no ketchup, I say the hell with it. And I use A1 sauce because fuck it. It's sauce. They never give me enough ketchup. I used Worcestershire one time. I got over it, for fuck's sake. Worcestershire? Worcestershire, sure, sure, sure. Worcestershire? Worcestershire, sure, sure, sure. You just called it Worcestershire. I did. I'm not like, proud. It's like, a, it's like the name of the family on a really bad Supernatural parody. We've learned that five... Even being Worcestershire. We learned there are many ways to reevaluate your, your relationship, but fire is not one of them. Because anything that results in property damage charges. But you know, not a good exit. Not a good exit. Your girl wants a McFlurry. Just buy homegirl a McFlurry. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's or, or your guy. It goes both <laughs> ways because it's only two bucks. You know, they could be asking for diamonds. Yeah, you know. Um, a diamond's only three months salary. And McFlurry's only the shit you find in your couch. Exactly. For Christ's sake. I could go to my check the lint trap in my dryer and find enough to get a fucking McFlurry. We've learned that also fire is not a way to say I love you. No. You might be a hunk of hunk of burning love. But you don't got to give her a hunk of hunk of burning structure fire. Say it with flowers, not with arson. Yeah, that should be 1-800-Flowers new. <laughs> <laughs> this, this. Do you care enough not to commit arson? <laughs> This Valentine's Day, don't set the neighbor's house on fire. <laughs> Just get her some roses, you dumb shit. Yeah. And finally, we learned exactly how many shots is too much. $80 worth. 
And the cheap, I love the cheap bastard didn't even pay for him. We, we learn that if we introduce a kitty, the channel goes wild. <sighs> Show him the kitty again. Here. She's sleeping. She's going to be mad at me. Show him the kitty again. Hi, baby. She's like, you woke me up. What the fuck? What is this bullshit? Hey, oh, it's really sad. Where's your luck? Look. Say hi to the people. Hi, people. I'm sleepy. I don't yep. know why this bitch keeps waking me up. What's sad is that the, the, she that that damn cat is going to be more more popular than both of us combined. 